What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day now today is the day that ableton live has arrived yes ableton live has got the craft master productions studio one tutorials treatment today we are unleashing arrangement arsenal 2 for ableton live for the first time ever you have got a legit arrangement pack ableton live community and you are going to love this shit so first of all let's go into you know just a quick um a quick um just introduction to my workflow, right? What I have in, in live, one of the things I love about live is, you know, I work primarily in the, um, you know, in the, um, in this view and then i'll um and then i'll go ahead and and send all this out to the arrangement view and um you know do, or, arrange my track accordingly i like to work on the push i use the step sequencer in there so on and so forth if you notice i got a group here uh the red stuff is my drums and the blue stuff i label band and that is all of my instruments right and then i take these two groups and i'll send those to um what i call a filter bus and that's where i'll do like my kind of bus processing if i'm gonna do like like a filter over the whole track or halftime or something like that and then from there I send I send this to a mix bus and you know do my mastering processes um, as follows but um, I can give you I, I can give you this workflow and I have done it in arrangement arsenal and that is a bonus of what we're doing out here today so the way that the, the way that the product works is you're gonna get a zip file obviously you unzip that and you're gonna have these 10 dot um, ALS files live sets so you so from here you can just kind of pick I've I've added the um, tempo information to each one so you could kind of say all right um, you know I feel like doing this or doing that um, so today I'm going to you know I'm gonna I'm, I, I'm gonna go with the um, I'll go with the uh, let's go with the sad vibe right from from XXX tentacion so let's go ahead yeah we we don't need to save this we're gonna open up a new file and when you open up an arrangement arsenal file, you are going to, you're going to be transported to the arrangement view and you're going to see right here is, um, you know, we don't have, we don't have any of my, um, you know, any of my VSTs or, or anything like that set up. So, so anybody who had, you know, who has any, um, instruments or whatever, they can, they can open this up and have no problems. But what you'll notice is you'll see that you'll see that my band, my band group and my drum group, they have these, um, uh, MIDI regions so that, or, or these clips, I'm sorry, so that you can, uh, see what, instruments are playing at what time and then i've I, i've i've also uh, taken these dropouts and these are from the original records um you know the drum drops and uh, the instrument drops and added those into added those into the sessions so now what what you do is you just drag um you know you just drag whatever your preferred method is to make drums you know e either into you know either into arrangement view or into session view and you create these clips so you create a clip that has just chords you create a clip that has chords and a brass lead. The other thing is, is um, these um, these clips are named based off of what the original song is. You don't need to use a brass lead. You know, you don't need to use piano chords. You can use um, a uh, you, any instrument that creates chords and any type of lead, and you follow along with the way that these clips are arranged and you're going to have you know a hit song arrangement the same thing the same thing with the drums here you know you see you, you see that we have this kick kick snare percussion closed hi-hat you know going all through it now this particular song didn't have a dominant it didn't have a dominant 808 bass line so the the 808 isn't labeled here there was also there also really wasn't a bass lead it's unique in that way so you can either choose to uh use that same vibe or you can add an 808 you know again this is this is just a guideline and this really um 
really just makes your workflow extremely, extremely fast um, because it takes away the anxiety of trying to figure out how to write a song. The song is already written for you. All you have to do is put together the harmony, the rhythm section, the top line, and then boom, you've, you you can go and create a song. And that lets you focus more on the stuff that you're good at. And I feel like with um, with production and how we use computers nowadays and, and, and we've, we've kind of went away from the collaborative process that natural music music making is and gone into like this one man band syndrome we have to learn every piece of the production process and i believe that that's a um that's a hindrance to us because we shouldn't be doing everything you know like uh if 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 you're great at drums then then then, you know be great at drums and and focus on that if you're great at drums and and top lines you should be doing that so that's what this is all about now an added bonus of arrangement arsenal is this all drum um instrument rack here and this is <laughs> this is a uh, this is something else this is something that i picked up from um mg the future he's got an amazing youtube channel you guys should check that out and what it is is it's a is it's an instrument rack where we've taken where we've taken instances of sampler and and laid them across these pads and what i like about this is you can um and this comes in every arrangement arsenal session. What you can do is you can put, um, I forgot however many samples this is, but you can take a, a uh, like for example, we'll take a sound oracle kit, right? And we will go to, uh, we'll go to the bin trapping kit. And however, however many kicks are in this kit, right? I can go ahead and just drag them, drag them into, um, drag them into the simpler all right go to the selection here right click here and go to distribute ranges equally then you see i already have sample selector mapped on my mapped to the macros and then as i go through you see you see right here is as 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 we are um you know as we're as we're cycling the sample selector if i go in if i go and create a kick here now right Let's see here. So if I go and play this pattern, I can go to the instrument rack. And just cycle through the whole kit. It's All right, super powerful, and um, this is something that this is something that you can do at you you know at your discretion. You can you could do it with a whole kit, with one kit. You could do it with a bunch of kits. And the reason why I included this is because as you as you um, as you get into making these types of tracks. <clears throat> You can populate this with with the style of drums that you like. Keep them in here, and then and then after you do that, you know you can use this feature to save it. All right, and and uh, and go on to make like you know it could be like you know it could be like sad type drums rack, you know um, look alive type drums rack, so on and so forth. So it's so it's a really really super super powerful tool um, that that you can use for your productions. So this is yeah this is just the introduction to arrangement arsenal just so you guys can kind of see what it is and how to use it. Um, the uh, so uh, for as 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 far as doing um, you know your instruments and whatnot the 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 way that I use it is you know if I'm going to to, you know if I'm gonna drag um, you know I'm gonna be using Omnisphere maybe Dune 2 and then all you got to do is just drag them on to um, I'm sorry Boop. just drag them into you know drag them into the arranger right and then throw them under the group so that you can so that you can go ahead and uh, and keep you know keep keep the channel routing keep the mix bus routing and this uh, uh, the the mix bus routing is also something that just makes everything so much easier like if you want to affect the whole track or you know just just keeping just keeping your gain structure organized and everything like that so it's real it, it's real simple and easy to get into this now I can now I could go into something um, you know go back to this view go into something like like dune and start you know I could create my chord part here go into easy keys create create my MIDI part 
part here um, and then I know um, okay so here so this is my chords part so I'll have this over here um, I know that the chords are gonna be playing throughout the whole song right so then I would go here and say all right you know I'm gonna need I'm gonna need this lead section here and here i don't need the lead section here i'm gonna i'm gonna copy it here and it's just it's so nice to just be able to create and not have to worry about you know extra stuff i know oh, okay this sitar strum section i'm gonna need i'm gonna need another instrument for that so i'll just duplicate this track find a new preset delete this stuff here and that's and and that's and that's how quickly you can get you can get on to creating um, a full song yeah, as as you make a beat you make a full song so yeah you guys go ahead and stop by the site the link is in the subscription studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic look out for more beat making videos using arrangement ar arsenal on deck we will see you on the next one fam